Have you ever wondered what the right way to put your pull socks on is? Hi, I'm David. Someone wrote in a question the other day and said that very thing. How the heck do I put this pulse socks on? I just got it. I'm not sure. I watched some videos I read online and there's information all over the place. It may sound silly, but it's very important. Also, I just want to take a moment to thank you so much for watching the videos and supporting our channel. The more that you like and subscribe and share with your friends and also hit that notification bell really helps grow the channel. And therefore, you're going to be helping get the word out to so many other people just like you. So let me go over how to put on the pulse ox for the best readings. So the first thing you're going to do is clean and dry your hands. Any little dirt or anything could affect the reading. So clean and dry your hands really well before usage. The other thing is too, you want to remove nail polish or artificial nails from the finger that you're selecting to use if you can. I know it's tough. Um, if that's the case and the nail polish can't be removed, then you can try to take the pulse ox and you could try to put it on sideways. Now I'm going to show you a little bit later on the right way to put it on and read it, but you could put it on sideways like this. It's not going to be ideal, but at least it'll get us some sort of an indication of a reading. Also, trim any excessively long nails because when you put the pulse ox on, you'll feel as you slide your finger in, there's a stop right there. And if you're not feeling that, then maybe the fingernails are a little too long. Also, cold hands has a really big impact on the accuracy of your pulse ox. So I want you to warm your hands, rub them together, put them under warm water. If you have a cup of coffee or tea or warm beverage or a bowl of soup, put it on there to warm them. And you can even get those hand warmers. They come in little packets and you could hold on to those. You could also put them underneath your arms like this to warm them. It's so important because you could get really, really crazy readings if the blood flow to your fingers is not accurate because, especially because of cold. Now, let's say we got through all that. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit down and you're gonna relax for a few minutes prior to taking the reading. Now, obviously if you're exercising or you're walking, that's different. But let's say you're just trying to get a basic baseline of, okay, every day I like to know my numbers in the morning, the afternoon, and the evening. Then just sit down and relax. The other thing is, Avoiding using the device and the pulse ox in direct bright light because what will happen is, let's say you have the pulse ox on your finger and you have either a light or the sunlight coming through the window. Since this is measuring wavelengths of light, it's going to come in and it's going to dilute the signal and that'll have a really big impact on the reading. This is my personal preference for the next one. They'll tell you put it on the index finger. For me personally, as well as for the thousands of patients that I work with over the last 25 years, I prefer the middle finger and the ring finger. And that's because a lot of times we will write and we will use with our dexterity all the time, predominantly the index finger. And I don't want to have it where there's a callus built up on that and it could affect the readings. Again, just my personal opinion and also what I've seen work well with patients. The other thing is you're going to open the pulse ox and place it properly on your finger with the sensor firmly on. And what will happen is sometimes people will just put it on just a little bit and it's barely in and you'll see it's looking for a signal and looking for a signal. We don't want that. I want you to sit still. Keep your hands steady and your arm down to your side because I want the blood flow with gravity to roll all the way down to your fingertips. And also moving. So again, you know, theoretically, if you're on a treadmill or you're walking and your hands are moving, it's going to affect the reading. So if you're just sitting to check your numbers, just stop, relax, arm down to your side, and then look. I want you to allow a good 20 seconds before you put it on. Don't put it on and immediately bring it up and look at it. Okay, it's this. No, no, no. Allow a good 20 seconds. Now, <laughs> if you want to laugh, the manufacturers recommend one to two minutes before you get a reading. And I don't know about you, but I'm a pretty impatient person sometimes. And waiting one to two minutes will feel like an eternity. Now, also, 
And I never really thought about this until I created this list, but you want to avoid tight clothing or jewelry that could restrict the blood flow to the finger. Meaning if you have something with sleeves on and it's tight or you have rings on and it's tight, that could really affect it. Another one is if you're looking at your fingers and you say, okay, I have some arthritis in one finger or in the past I've had an injury to my finger. You don't want to put it on that one because that could also affect the numbers. Now what I want you to do is regularly check and replace the pulse ox batteries because that's gonna have another big impact on it. And a lot of times when we're checking it all the time, we drain through the batteries quickly. So make sure if you get a bad reading, don't panic. Just look at the battery levels. Maybe that's what it could be. Another helpful tip is to log your readings over time. And what I want you to do is just get a notebook, write down your numbers and say, you know, basically these are my numbers at rest in the morning. These are my numbers in the afternoon and also in the evening. And it's really important so that way you can establish a baseline and know how you're doing. So now I'm going to show you, and this is the fun and exciting part. I'm going to demonstrate the proper way to put it on. Most of the time, everybody puts this on incorrectly. So what you're going to do is you're going to get the pulse ox. So this is how people normally put it on. They'll take it, they'll put it on the index finger, and then they'll go like this and they'll stick it out and then they'll tilt it up like this and they're looking down like this and then they go like this and they're kind of looking down at it. So from a posture standpoint, their chin is down. We want the chin up, neck and shoulders down and relaxed. Now putting it on this way, if you notice when I go like this, it bends everything in here and all these little blood vessels, which this is reading from, are gonna be impacted. So what you wanna do is turn the pulse ox around Take your hand, palm facing you, put it on, middle finger or ring finger, and then look at it. And again, nice and relaxed posture, a level chin, relaxed necks and shoulders. And all you're gonna do is make sure that the readout is facing you, not bending the wrist. Notice my wrist is nice and straight here. Now this is gonna allow for a more accurate reading. Try these, go through the list, see how you're doing with these, it's okay. It's, I know it's a lot of information. And as you're going through these, you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, holy cow, that's a lot. But once you go through it and you get in the habit, it literally will just take seconds and that's okay. This is gonna give you the best readings because it's very important to know what your oxygen levels and your heart rate are. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it so much that you took the time to watch this and I'll see you in the next video.